Navigating the world of diabetes can be tricky, but there's a wealth of natural resources out there that can help us keep blood sugar levels balanced. And as it turns out, some of the best tools to manage this condition may be sitting in your spice cabinet or growing in your herb garden. Today we are talking about the best herb for diabetes and how to use it for the best results. So make sure to watch till the end. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Herbs can be beneficial for health in various ways. They are often rich in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and other bioactive compounds that can support overall well-being. Many herbs have been used for centuries in traditional medicine practices to treat ailments and promote healing. We're starting our list at number 10 with a rather intriguing herb known as bitter melon. Despite its not-so-appetizing name, it turns out to be quite beneficial for people with type 2 diabetes. A study published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology found that bitter melon could significantly reduce blood glucose levels with just a four-week course. Next up at number 9 is fenugreek. This herb is not just a flavor booster for your curries, but it could also help regulate your blood sugar levels. A study in the International Journal for Vitamin and Nutrition Research found that the high fiber content in fenugreek seeds could slow down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, reducing fasting blood sugar. Coming in at number 8, we have Gymnema sylvester, a powerful herb native to India and Sri Lanka. Its nickname, Sugar Destroyer, sums up its potential benefits for diabetes. As per the Journal of Clinical Biochemistry and Nutrition, Gymnemic acids in this herb can increase insulin production and promote the regeneration of insulin-producing islet cells. At number 7 is ginger. This zesty root could do more than just spice up your dishes. It might help manage your blood sugar levels. A study published in Complementary Therapies in Medicine found that ginger powder supplementation could improve fasting blood glucose and insulin resistance in type 2 diabetes patients. In the sixth position, we have garlic. Regular consumption of garlic could lead to a decrease in fasting blood glucose levels, thanks to its antioxidant properties and capacity to enhance insulin secretion, as reported in the Journal of Diabetes Investigation. Halfway through our list, at number 5 is cinnamon. This aromatic spice is a powerhouse when it comes to health benefits. Research published in Diabetes Care showed that cinnamon could improve fasting blood glucose and insulin sensitivity, all thanks to its bioactive compounds. Just missing out on our top three at number four is bilberry extract. This herb has been linked with improved blood glucose control and reduced LDL cholesterol levels, as found in a study in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Number three brings us the golden spice turmeric. Curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, is associated with significant reductions in blood glucose levels and insulin resistance, as seen in a 2013 study in diabetes care. In the runner-up position, at number two is American ginseng. According to a study in the Archives of Internal Medicine, this potent herb can lower both fasting and post-meal blood sugar levels. And now, drum roll please. At the top of our list is the miraculous aloe vera. Primarily known for soothing skin conditions, it turns out this humble herb also excels in diabetes management. A review in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacy and Therapeutics highlighted that aloe vera could lower fasting blood glucose levels and HbA1c, a long-term measure of blood sugar control. Now that we've unveiled the top herb, let's discuss how to use aloe vera for diabetes. The clear gel inside the aloe vera leaf is where the magic resides. It can be consumed in various forms, such as juice or capsules. Before starting any new supplement, make sure to consult with your healthcare provider. That rounds up our top 10 herbs for diabetes management. Remember, these herbs, while beneficial, are not a substitute for your regular diabetes medication. To prepare aloe vera juice, take a fresh leaf from the plant, remove the outer skin, and extract the transparent gel. Blend this gel with water or citrus juice, like lemon or orange juice, to make a healthy drink. The suggested dosage is about one tablespoon of aloe vera gel blended into a drink, taken twice daily. If the taste of aloe vera juice isn't appealing, aloe vera is also available in supplement form. These capsules contain the same beneficial compounds as the raw plant. The dosage should be according to the instructions on the packaging or as directed by a healthcare professional. While not directly related to blood sugar management, aloe vera gel can also be applied topically to help with skin conditions that may arise as complications of diabetes. 
Its soothing and anti-inflammatory properties can help heal minor cuts or burns and promote skin health. Aside from potential benefits for diabetes, herbs offer a wide range of health benefits in various areas. Many herbs, such as peppermint, ginger, fennel, and chamomile, have been traditionally used to support digestive health. They can help alleviate digestive discomfort, reduce bloating, relieve indigestion, and promote healthy digestion. Certain herbs, including echinacea, elderberry, and astragalus, are known for their immune-boosting properties. They can help strengthen the immune system, enhance the body's natural defense mechanisms, and potentially reduce the risk and severity of common illnesses. Herbs like turmeric, ginger, rosemary, and cinnamon possess anti-inflammatory properties. They can help reduce inflammation in the body, which is associated with various chronic conditions, including arthritis, heart disease, and certain types of cancer. Many herbs, such as chamomile, lavender, lemon balm, and passion flower, have calming and soothing effects. They can help promote relaxation, alleviate anxiety and stress, improve sleep quality, and support overall mental well-being. Numerous herbs are rich in antioxidants, which help protect the body against oxidative stress and damage caused by free radicals. Examples of antioxidant-rich herbs include green tea, oregano, rosemary, and sage. Antioxidants are beneficial for overall health and may help reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Herbs like thyme, eucalyptus, and licorice root have been traditionally used to support respiratory health. They can help soothe coughs, relieve congestion, and promote healthy respiratory function. However, it's important to note that the effects of herbs can vary, and not all herbs are suitable for everyone. Some herbs may interact with certain medications or have contraindications, so it's crucial to ensure their safe and appropriate use. Additionally, it's essential to source herbs from reputable sources to ensure quality and avoid potential contamination. Growing your own herbs or purchasing from trusted organic suppliers can help ensure their purity and potency. It's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or herbalist before incorporating herbs into your health regimen, especially if you have any pre-existing health conditions or are taking medications. It's also essential to keep in mind that while these herbs can help manage diabetes symptoms, a well-rounded approach that includes diet, physical activity, stress management, and regular checkups is the key to effective diabetes management. Signing off, we leave you with a thought. Sometimes the solutions we're seeking are hidden in nature, waiting in our kitchen pantry, or growing in our backyard garden. The world of herbs holds immense potential, and we're just beginning to unlock it. So until next time, stay strong, stay positive, and stay healthy.